Hello, I'm Mrs. Schooler and I'm the math department chair at Crondelet. I wanted to take a few minutes to go over some different math pathways um, and explain the difference between the different courses that we offer here at Crondelet. We know that math can be a gatekeeper for students um, when it comes to admissions to some colleges and universities, as well as um, majors that students may be interested in. And the goal of our department is really to provide our students with multiple pathways to achieve their individual goals and prepare them for whatever awaits for them beyond Crondelet. So the classes that are highlighted here in yellow are what we refer to as our math program. So these courses are part of our individually paced for mastery program. This means that students are moving at their own pace to achieve mastery level. This gives them the freedom to be proactive in the speed at which they move through their classes. And the choices on how students pace through these courses will impact how far or what classes they can take in the future. Students have the potential to complete more than one course in a school year. This is something that may be helpful to them if they wanna reach those higher levels of math classes before they graduate. Keep in mind that for algebra, geometry, and algebra two, students can self-select the honors option. So this is something we encourage students to consider as they work on in the curriculum. Everyone needs to complete algebra and geometry. After geometry, there's a couple of different options. Students who really enjoy math, and we hope that um, they all do, or those students who are considering majoring in a STEM field in college are gonna wanna select Algebra II. Many colleges wanna see students take this class as it does strengthen their college application. And this course does cover a lot of content and students who may have struggled with pacing in Algebra and Geometry may wanna to try to begin this course the summer or school year prior, just to allow so, for some flexibility in the school year. Students who know they're not going into a STEM field or perhaps have struggled in math um, should consider taking financial algebra. This course uses financial context for understanding and applying math that students are guaranteed to use in the future. This course includes a lot of projects and hands-on applications to math. You should speak with your counselor who can help you decide which course is the right fit for you. Um, while students are only required to take three years of math, students are highly encouraged to take on a fourth year. Students who are currently in Algebra 2 and are wanting to advance to higher levels of math are strongly encouraged to self-select the honors in the, in the Algebra 2 course. This will allow them to move on to trigonometry honors, which is a semester long course. Um, curriculum in the honors extension in Algebra 2, as well as the curriculum in the trig honors course are what's included in pre-calculus. So successfully completing trig honors will allow students to move directly to AP Calculus AB and then BC the following year if they wish. If you would rather work at a slower pace, then you can transition from Algebra 2 to Pre-Calculus. Um, Pre-Calculus is a wonderful course to take for a variety of college majors. It's taught in a traditional manner with a teacher-led pace. After you complete Pre-Calculus, you have the option to advance to either Calculus or AP Calculus AB. Both courses have similar material. The main difference between the two of them is that AP Calculus AB is preparing students for the AP exam in May. So as a result, it does move at a faster pace and the amount of time that needs to be spent at home is gonna be greater than what you'll see in the calculus class. If you do not want to take the calculus pathway, we also offer two levels of statistics. Um, AP Statistics follows a set curriculum with a quick progression through it in order to prepare students for that AP exam in May. Keep in mind that with all of our advanced placement courses, they do require dedicated time spent outside of class studying and preparing. The workload is more than what you may be used to in your previous math classes. Probability and Statistics covers a similar curriculum as AP Statistics, but it moves at a slower pace. This is a great course to see a different side of math and many college majors do require a stats course. So it's a great course to have, um, to get an idea of what you might see in a college statistics class. Personal Finance Essentials is a new semester long course that I highly recommend. This is a great class to take if you wanna double up on math classes or as a standalone class. It's designed to provide a basic foundation in personal finance, providing you with real world topics to prepare you for adult life. I really encourage you to speak with any math teacher about these different options that I've discussed. We're happy to explain in more detail the difference between each course and provide our suggestion of what we think would be a good fit for you um, for next year. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out and thank you so much.